Hey, good people. I am Tamika Marable King, your girl Tika Talks. So I'm well aware that Valentine's Day is tomorrow. You know, people have been posting different memes or um, posting subliminal posts that would indicate they are a main chick or a side chick or they have a problem either or. And how about I'm not team main chick or team side chick. I'm team one and only. So if you had to share somebody as an adult, I mean, you're sharing a whole grown person, that would definitely call for some self-evaluation. Now, understand if somebody is saying, oh, this is just what I'm into right now. I'm young. I'm, you know, this is, that's the excuse a lot of people use. I'm, I'm not ready to settle down. So on and so forth. If that's you, that's what you got going on. That's what you think is okay for your life and where you are. Cool. No judgment. But for individuals who are in a place where they're not happy, they're uncomfortable. Good God, my hurt. Mm. They're uncomfortable and they're feeling as if something's not quite right in their life or they're not pleased with where they are or what they're putting up with. Y'all, how about tomorrow you're by yourself? How about no more, not this Valentine's Day and none in your future? Don't settle. Like, I'm so serious. I understand. I Back in the day, yes. Main side, get it, got it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But today, mm -mm. ain't no sharing. No. We grown. And your value <laughs> is priceless. You know what I'm saying? Your self-worth. You got to be... You have to understand what you bring to the table. And in some cases, I realize some people don't bring nothing but scraps or nothing at all. You know, I, I get it. But those people need to be working on themselves. But when you realize that that's not what you want or that's not what you should be putting up with, you need to make some sound decisions to do something differently. You need to make it real clear to yourself that this is what I have to do in order to advance to a new level. See, People want to fight over individuals and, you know, stop being friends or whatever the case. I don't have time for that. I feel like in my adult life, where I am right now, where God has helped me to get to, that all the work that I put in to get to where I am, that took me away from all the foolishness that I used to endure, that I used to put up with, that I used to even put out, you know, mm -mm, y'all, that work is hard. To get to a place where you realize how valuable you are. To get to a place where you're in a relationship that is monogamous. Because men and women think, you know, that sometimes they're just not valuable enough to only be with one individual. Or you feel like one person cannot be pleasing to me. So I have to deal with several people. But again, on Valentine's Day, everybody want to hook up with somebody. And so they, for the sake of saying they got a gift or they were with someone for a box of chocolates, negative. For a rose or two not even a whole dozen okay none of which i find to be enough for you to be willing to tolerate behaviors that you should not put up with or to be sharing people or to be beefing with people no and then you know if you are mistreated all year long and the only time you were treated worth two cents is on valentine's day you might want to reevaluate the situation you're in the relationship or the marriage that you have because that is definitely not the way that god would want us to be treat it i want my husband to love me 365 and treat me like it's valentine's day year round and i want to treat him the same way so you know it's not like we should be just only loving on each other one day out of the whole year anyway but i'm telling y'all if if you are trying to put up with behavior that is less than what you truly feel you are worth then you need to walk away you need to really be praying and then you need to be able to go through the process that's going to bring the discomfort. It's going to bring pain. It's going to bring sadness. It's going to bring heartache so that you can move on to bigger and better things because that's what's going to happen. You know, if you, if you leave somebody alone because of the behaviors you learn, you should be learning a lesson that allows you to understand in my next relationship or the way in which I begin to carry myself after I walk away from this situation is going to be one that is going to be, you know, a magnet to something better. That's what we don't understand. It's like we will put up with so much abuse and so much dysfunction and then 
in our minds, it's like we're trapped in that place. You're not trapped, baby. You can get out if you desire to get out. You can go forward. You can find somebody new. They need to find you. But you got to begin to function in your greatness. You got to really seek that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whew, until I got with God, there wasn't going to be anybody worth getting with. I'm telling you. I really struggled to love who I was. So, you know, I couldn't be nobody Valentine. No. No. Mm -mm. I was just a mess. And now I get it. And I'm glad I got it. And so, you know, just because somebody is like, you know, well, the main chick is this, this. Listen, if the main chick is aware of the side chick and yet she continues to tolerate this behavior, she continues to share. And then the side chick is aware of the main chick and she's like, oh, well, I know he's going to go home, but okay, weekend, weekend, my what? No. Negative. Seven days a week, baby. Okay. Ain't no sharing. Sharing is not caring as an adult. It is not. That's what toys, children, toddlers, daycare. Got to do better. Got to be better. Got to want better. Right now. Okay? Right now. You deserve so much more. And it, I know it's just not women, but men too. You know, there are men who deal with the same things that some of us deal with. But I'm normally talking to the, my females because I'm a female myself. But I'm telling you, on today, understand now, don't be settling this year, y'all. Do what you do best. That's being you. I absolutely love y'all. Be sure to check me out um, Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. All right. See you later.